Hey cuties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Melanie. You can call me Mel. There's a couple of new faces here for two reasons. My girl Carter Sullivan um, shouted me out on Instagram. She is another Canadian YouTuber. I love her content and she gave me a shout out and I was so grateful for it. I think that I got like over a hundred new subscribers. So. If you came from Carter's Instagram story, leave a comment down below and let me know. And hi, welcome. I also had a TikTok video that went semi-viral and I was talking about um, starting my YouTube channel after wanting to do it for 10 years. So if you came from that TikTok, again, comment down below. Hi and welcome. I figured that I would do a quick little intro of myself because if you came from either of those places, you probably know nothing about me. So my name is Melanie, obviously. I live in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I am 28 years old. Um, I live with my boyfriend, Mac. We have been together for nearly three years. We're celebrating our three year anniversary next week. We're going to Vancouver to celebrate. I'm so excited for a little vacation. Um, what else? I work at a marketing agency. My title there is social media lead. So I have worked in social for probably like six years. Um, I went to school for marketing. After I graduated, I worked at a PR and marketing agency for two years, and then I switched agencies to the current one that I'm at, um, and the current agency that I'm at is called Arcade. We are a creative and digital agency, and I do social media management there. Um, management and strategy, my title isn't social media manager, but that's basically what I do. Um, and what else? I like to create content on Instagram and TikTok, kind of like my side hustle. Um, and I like food. I like to cook. I like to, I'm into like healthy living, but um, I'm really like anti-diet culture. So I like to show realistic, healthy lifestyle, but I try my best not to use any triggering language or anything like that. So um, if that's of interest to you, you'll probably like my channel. What else do I like? I like to read, I'm really into self-care, huge mental health advocate. Um, I deal with depression and anxiety. I've been medicated for those two ailments um, for like five years and I do really well um, being medicated and being in therapy. Um, but I've experienced major depression um, like three times, three separate occasions in my life um, starting from when I was 19. I'm now 28. So I've had three major bouts of depression. So I'm no stranger to depression. Um, part of the reason why I like to create content on the internet is because I like to show people that um, there's hope and there is a beautiful life waiting for you on the other side of depression. Um, I really struggled in my early 20s. Um, again, I dealt with depression, anxiety. I also dealt with chronic pain. Um, I still do. I have chronic bladder pain. There is a video where I explain a little bit more about this, but um, yeah, I struggled a lot when I was in university. I also struggled with um, getting through university, dealing with all of those things. Um, and I finally graduated and I got a job and now I would consider myself to have, you know, a thriving career. I have a great personal life, great social life. I feel really happy with who I am and um, you know, how far I've come. And so really I like to, I like being an influencer because I like to show people that um, even if you struggle and if you've, you know, gone through adversity, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And it doesn't mean that I don't still struggle, but um, I have made so much progress and my mental health is so much better than it was. And I think, you know, being 28, so being on the later half of my 20s, I really want to show my younger people um, what it looks like to move through that. Because when I was younger, I didn't see my way out. I didn't see a vision for my life as it currently is. So YouTube is definitely a way for me to show a little bit more and to obviously like talk more and show my personality. So 
if you've ended up on this video i just wanted to say thank you for being here um, i feel honored that people want to watch my videos and get to know me and listen to what i have to say and that's not a privilege that everyone has not everyone has a platform to have a voice and so i really do feel lucky um, that i get to talk about the things that i'm passionate about so i just want to say thank you for being here um, before getting into this vlog and um, if yeah if you're new here please let me know how you found my channel um, and I would love to welcome you to the family so um, it is around noon what time is it oh it's almost one on Friday so I'm just like having a little bit of a lunch break I'm working from home today um, and I usually uh, vlog on weekends just because my work week can be a little bit crazy and it's really hard to film um, I can't really film during work for privacy reasons and also just that would be so hard to do um, and then before and after work it's dark out so I really like to film vlogs on the weekends that's that's when I have the time to really like film and just give you some content that's exciting so um yeah i actually don't have many plans this weekend it's going to be very much like a self-care weekend that's how i like my weekends to be i like to use that time to rest and recharge and to do things that really fill me up um so mac is at work today and he'll be working um into the evening so i'm gonna finish up my work day i might do a little bit of a workout and then i may order takeout or i may make some dinner tonight we'll see i'm also doing dry january so i won't be drinking this weekend um i am gonna be drinking next weekend though when we go to vancouver so i'm gonna be ending dry january a little bit early um but that's okay i've always planned to do that um but yeah i'm just gonna take you through some stuff that i'm doing this weekend i'll probably um be doing some workouts i'll probably be doing some cleaning some resting some relaxing some organizing i'm probably going to start packing for my trip um we leave a week today but because i haven't been on a trip in so long i love packing and organizing and like making a list and i just love i love travel so much and obviously i haven't been able to do it that much and when I travel, I really want to make the most out of it. I want to be as comfortable as possible. And to me, that means bringing all of my favorite things and bringing clothes that are functional that I'm gonna feel good in. Um, what else? Bringing like all of my toiletries, again, that are going to make me feel good when I'm away. So I really am like a planner. I literally already wrote out what I'm gonna bring to Vancouver and it's a three day trip. So um, it's like that TikTok where it's like, I've never been chill a day in my life. Um, that's me. So <laughs> I might show you a little bit of me packing. Um, I will obviously just be bringing a carry-on. Um, I try to bring a carry-on for most trips. Like even if I'm going on a, like a week trip, I try and do a carry-on. I just find that it's so much easier, more convenient. Don't have to wait for a bag. Um, so I may show some packing for Vancouver. Um, and other than that, I'm just gonna, you know, it'll be a regular vlog just showing you what I get up to. And yeah, it's kind of, I feel a little bit nervous because there are so many new people here. I think since my last vlog, I have gained, let me see, 120 new subscribers. So again, hello, I'm so happy that you're here. Um, but yeah, it feels a little bit nerve wracking. I feel like I'm on like a job audition or like an interview or something. But anyways, I really hope that you like my content. And um, if you're new and this is one of the first videos that you watch, um, I'd love to know what you liked about it or what type of content that you'd like to see. I'm definitely open to any suggestions. I'm just at the beginning of my YouTube journey and my YouTube career and it's been so fun so far. So once again, thank you for being here. I feel like so cheesy, but that's okay. Um, it's okay to be cheesy. And um, yeah, so I'm going to get back to work, finish my work day and I'll probably check in with you at Pray Work. Okay, I kind of had a crazy moment that I wanted to talk about. So I was thinking about what I was going to make for dinner. And my body was craving something like pretty light and healthy. But then I was like, oh, well, I've got like this cheese tortellini in the freezer that um, is there. And like, we just don't have that much food right now. And so I was like, oh, I could just make that. And then I was like, well, I don't really feel like eating that. And then there was a moment where I was like, am I trying to restrict myself because like the cheese tortellini is a little bit more indulgent and then I was I it like really 
fucked with me <laughs> because I was like, no, I actually think that I just don't really feel like eating something like that. I feel like eating like a big salad or like a Buddha bowl or something. And I really had to figure out if I was wanting to eat a salad because I thought that I should or if I actually just wanted the salad. I'm pretty sure I actually just want the salad. So I'm gonna go and get some kale because I have some ingredients. I've got like some squash and some goat cheese and some candied pecans that my mom brought me. Um, and so I like have some ingredients to make like a really hearty, yummy salad. And that's exactly what I feel like. But it was so funny where like, I just, I don't know, my brain glitched and I just didn't know I found it hard to like make a decision and I think that that's definitely like if you have a past of disordered eating habits, it can be hard to know what your body is actually craving and whether or not you're wanting to eat something because you actually want to eat it or because you think you should eat it. Um, it was just really interesting. So I'm gonna go out and get some kale. I also have a Poshmark order. No, not Poshmark, Depop. Depop order that I have to bring to the post office. So um, I just finished up my work day, so I'm gonna go and bring that to the post office and then grab some kale and then um, we'll make a yummy salad together. I'm really happy with how this little nook is turning out. We're still going to um, mount that frame on the wall. And then um, I like this little corner here. So I picked up these cocktail glasses from Indigo. I actually got them for my Secret Santa and I loved them so much. And then I saw them go on sale and I just had to have them. So yeah, just wanted to show you this beautiful new little corner. Okay, this is such bullshit because I just went and shipped out my Depop order. I sold something for $35 and then Depop takes like $3.50 as a fee, which is fine. I get it. I used your platform to um, sell my item. But then shipping was $22 to Ontario. So your girl is netting $9.50. Material girl. Um, but anyways, I got my kale. I also got some chicken sausage because I figure I should like bulk up the salad a bit. I think it's gonna be amazing. I've got squash, kale, um, candied pecans. Um, I said pecans earlier and like, I don't know why I said that. Um, shallots um, and now some chicken apple sausage and goat cheese. And I'll probably do like a lemony, garlicky, nutritional yeasty dressing. So it's gonna be good. I also picked up a ginger kombucha because I'm doing dry January. I feel like a Friday night I needed like a little beverage So I might even put it in a wine glass and just like pretend so Feeling good except for that Shipping like that just like really put me in a bad mood I'm like what is even the point of selling something on Depop if I'm gonna be spending $25 to sell it like that means that pretty much anything under $30 is just not worth selling and most items I don't I can't sell for more than that It's like a used item. Anyways, whatever It's out of my life Okay um, Anyways, I'm probably gonna start cooking dinner. I am also watching the next season of cheer I loved this show when it first came out and now I love the second season because it's talking all about how like social media and like the fame that they got from the show is impacting them. So it's really good so far. I'm only on halfway or not even halfway through episode two. Dinner, so I've got my kale massaged with olive oil and salt, some dates, some of my pecans, my dressing. I did a little quick pickle of these shallots, goat cheese, and then I roasted some squash and I'm cooking up some chicken apple sausage. So I'll show you how I'm gonna build my little bowl. Happy Saturday. 
Um, I am just getting caffeined up for a live workout with a few fun moves. Um, so I need to change into my workout clothes. This tank top that I'm wearing is from Mary Young and it's amazing. It's like the most perfect, just basic tank top. You could definitely wear it as real clothes, but I wore this to bed last night. Um, and what else do I have to say? Yeah, the workout is at 11. Um, she does work live workouts on for Saturdays most days and I love that. Um, because I don't usually have that much to do on Saturdays. So getting in a workout is like feels so productive. It makes me feel good So we're gonna do that and then I actually have no idea what I'm gonna do after that But for now, I'm just focusing on my workout and I'm excited for that um, That's all I've got for you. Oh also I just posted this on my TikTok, but if you have two different size boobs, you're normal and I feel you um I hope like I was gonna say like mom if you're watching this but like she birthed me so it's fine this boob is like a full cup size larger than this boob we love them both done my workout felt really good to sweat um, it's really nice out it's like 10 degrees so I think I'm gonna go for a big walk as well um, same thing as last Saturday just like using the weekend to get moving so um, I think I'm gonna have I have like these little egg bites that I made so I'm gonna have a couple of those because I'm a little bit hungry but not too hungry so I'm just gonna have that and then I'm gonna go for my big walk and then when I come home I'll probably make like, a salad similar to what I had last night um, and then I want to show you guys what I got from Abercrombie. So I will check in with you later for a massive Abercrombie haul. Too much, 13 pieces. Um, anyways, check in later. This lighting is not very good, but I'm just finishing up my walk. It's really nice. I feel so good that I've moved my body so much. Um, already and it's only 1 p.m. but I'm just gonna go to shoppers because I need to get a new SD card. I think I mentioned this but um, I'm just using like an 8 gigabyte one that Mac gave me and it's very small so I can't really keep that many videos on it and so I need to get a bigger one and I want to get a bigger one before we go to Vancouver so that I can keep my footage on my camera and I don't have to keep putting it on my laptop and then deleting it off the cards. So from shoppers i also got some random snacks i don't know why i was craving this laughing cow cheese and then i thought it would be good on these everything rice cakes and then i got some key lime yogurt my favorite kind of this yogurt is the coconut one but they didn't have it so i thought key lime sounded good um, and then we were out of um, non-dairy milk so i just picked that up as well Okay, Abercrombie haul time. So I'm gonna link everything um, in the description box and I'll tell you what size I got. Um, I don't know if it's helpful, but if it is, if maybe you have like a similar body type to mine, I'm 5'5", five five, if that helps. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you everything that I got. So I got half of this stuff before the Abercrombie glitch, um, like during, I guess like, what was it? Oh yeah, Boxing Day, during their Boxing Day sale. And then the other half I got when there was that glitch. So I got everything like really discounted and I'm really happy with everything that I got. The first thing is obviously the sweater. I literally cannot stop wearing it. Um, it's so cozy, it's perfect, it's cropped. I love like the little slits that it has at the bottom here. And I just can't recommend this one enough. Feels really nice quality and I just feel like it looks more expensive than it is. So that's my first one and I'm obsessed. I'm also not gonna do a try on haul because I'm just too lazy. I actually haven't tried on some of this stuff, so I don't even know if like everything is gonna fit. If it doesn't fit, I'll just like donate it or sell it. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna try it on because I'm lazy. I'm so sorry. First thing that I got is this skirt. It's like this nice um, thick knit material, and it's just like a midi skirt and it has a nice slit it's like a pretty big slit on one side so i think this is gonna be super cute um i imagine wearing this with like a t-shirt and like maybe some sneakers i feel like it's kind of a f I'll, I'll have to wear it like in the fall um but yeah i really like that I haven't tried this on but i'm almost positive that um it's gonna fit the next thing is these um these are like the 
Sorry, I just got really confused because I thought I had worn these before, but I still have the tag on them. So I'm just confused. <laughs> Did I wear them with the tag? Anyways, these are like the viral Curve Love 90s Ultra High Rise. It's the ones like with the slit. Um, they're really flattering and I just love them. I guess I wore them with the tag on them. Anyways. Um, and then I got another pair of jeans. Um, these are also Curve Love, the mom jeans. Um, I haven't tried these on yet, so I hope that they are good. They're kind of like a straight leg. Um, I, I don't think I really realized that the buttons were on the outside. I don't love that, but again, I haven't tried them on yet, so we'll see what they look like on, but got those. And then I got this, oh. I got this sweater, it's like a little Henley. Again, super soft, um, really cozy. I wore this this week to work um, and it's just like a great basic. I love the, um, the big collar, so love that. And then I got three of these. I have a black one too, but it's in the wash. So I got three in the same color. It's a bodysuit um, and it's like this ribbed polo. Really like them, cozy, flattering. Um, I also like, it's like a nice layering piece because then you can get a collar um, and then it's a bodysuit so you don't have to wear like a collared shirt under a sweater if you want to get the collar. So again, really love these guys. Um, out of everything, like I would, I would recommend these. Just those like, you know, basic staples. This I haven't tried on yet either, but it's this oversized sheer shirt. I imagine wearing this with like a little crop underneath, high-waisted jeans, and then have this like open. Um, so I'm happy with that. We'll see what it looks like on. Um, and then these are so cute. Okay, the first one I got was this one. It is this beautiful, it's called like seamless corset top and it's really flattering on. If you have like a smaller chest, this is just such a flattering style because it kind of like, it's weird. It kind of like flattens your boobs a little bit. So it kind of gives you a little bit of a lift. Um, anyways. It's a bodysuit and I liked it so much that I ordered it in black as well. And then the last thing that I got is this vest. I've shown it a couple times in the vlog, but I love it. It's this puffer vest. My only complaint is that the pockets are just this little snap. I wish that it was a zipper because when I'm out walking, I have stuff in my pockets like my wallet and my phone and my AirPods, and I wish that it was zippered. But other than that, I love it. It's perfect. Um, so yeah, that's everything that I bought. Um, I will link everything down below. And if you shop the Abercrombie Glitch or if you've shopped Abercrombie lately, they have such good stuff. So let me know what you have purchased in the comments. Okay, dinner tonight is a recipe that I make all the time. It's Sophia Rose thrice cooked potatoes. I will link the YouTube video in the description box because it's so good. So it's basically these potatoes that you cook three times. So you boil them, then you fry them in a pan, and then you put them in the oven. Um, and then some black beans and onions, and then you top it with some guac. And then we like to squeeze lime over, and then always hot sauce. It's really, really good. Again, I make it all the time. It's amazing for dinner, but it's also a good like brunch or lunch. So it's just, it's just the best. So if you haven't tried it, um, I highly recommend that you do. Good morning. I wanted to show you my new pajamas. I love them. They're super comfy. Um, I think I might get like the long sleeve version too. I think they have a long sleeve version because they're so cute. And Max said that it looks like I'm wearing a little tuxedo, a little, resting tuxedo I just got ready for the day um, I've, I'm wearing all Abercrombie so these are my new Abercrombie jeans they're not my fave but they fit me um, this little Henley uh, vest sunglasses are from Amazon these are the ones I always wear um, hoops are from Monica Venator, again, the ones I always wear. And then this little tote is from Mala, the candle brand. And then I'm gonna wear my Air Force Ones. Yay for us leaving the house. We're going on a little day date. Um, we're going to Inglewood to 
specifically go to plant because I have a gift card that I haven't used since my birthday last year. Um, so we're gonna pick out a plant, but we thought we'd make a little trip out of it. So we're gonna go and get some coffees and probably some little snacks. Um, and then I'll show Mac our new office because he hasn't seen the new one, except he said he's seen a lot of it through Instagram. So um, we'll see. I might just, we're just gonna show him the outside, not go inside because he knows what that looks like. Um, it's really nice out. It's like 10 degrees, so it's a good Sunday. Here's our new plant baby that we're taking home. Hi, I'm so tired. It was really nice to go to Inglewood and have a little time, but um, it just took a lot out of me because I, I'm not used to doing so much and being out in public for so long. Anyways, it was really fun. It's now like four o'clock. Um, I'm gonna edit this video. I might do a little bit of a workout um, and then I'm just gonna relax, get ready for work tomorrow. So if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't um, subscribed to my channel yet, I would love to have you. Um, and please like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to say. Like, comment, and subscribe. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. I think it was one of my better ones. Um, you know, I'm still learning and I'm still new to it, but I'm really happy with everything that I put in the vlog and I'm happy with the editing that I've done so far. So I really hope that you enjoyed it. Um, and I hope that you have a good week ahead. Bye.